Hi. In this video, I want to talk about a little experiment I've done towards carbonization of various materials. In particular, I'm trying to fit, find out ways that I can carbonize materials that are quick and easy and safe for the children. So this morning, I tried a method inspired by a couple of different videos. One was a carrot carbonizing video by Robert Murray Smith. Another one was uh, some videos by Kev. Um, both uh, are channels that are in my subscribe to channels that you can see on my channel. Uh, what I did this morning is I mixed a little bit of sugar, just plain old table sugar, with salt, plain old table salt, and I put that in the microwave. Uh, I hoped that that would be able to produce a carbonizing uh, effect very quickly and easily. And it does look like it is. I'm still running tests to confirm it, and I'll uh, be doing that sort of during it. When I did it, this is what I got. I got this material that uh, this is after only two minutes in the microwave. I could have left it going for four, but it started smoking like mad. Bring your microwave outside or make sure you have a good fume hood or something because this is going to smoke as it does it. And so I had to, to stop it because I was inside and I had to, to stop the thing. So I've checked it and already the black material does appear to be conductive. It does appear to be carbon. It's kind of a, a, a foamy, um, a, a crumbly foam uh, mixture, which is what I would expect from carbonizing uh, sugar. So I'm going to see right now I'm going to take and I'm going to separate out the rest of the sugar and salt from that foam by uh, dissolving in water, running it through a coffee filter, uh, distilled water. So I'll be right back after I uh, get this a little bit more pure. Okay, so here is the material after, again, it's really hard to photograph because it's uh, black and black doesn't photograph very well, but it looks like a, a, a kind of a, a foamy carbon and it is electrically conductive. So now I get to do some more stuff. I think this method is going to work really well for me. So it looks like I got carbon, kind of a, a expanded carbon a little bit, a little uh, action there, and it's going to be very interesting. My next step is to uh, finish drying it and grind it up, put it in an ink, and see what it does in a battery. But I have really high hopes for it. So overall, what did I do? I took some salt. I took a, a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of sugar. I mix them together and I put them on in a micro in a bowl in a microwave. After uh, about a minute and a half or so, at first it didn't look like anything was happening. Then after about a minute and a half, I could see it uh, expanding in one area and that area kept growing. It kind of looked like the expanding um, snakes at Fourth of July, uh, but just in a in an area. After about two minutes, I stopped it before all of the material was consumed. I did that because it was smoking like crazy. So you got to do this either under a ventilated hood or outside because this does really does smoke. But what I was trying to do is replace the zinc chloride that was used by Robert Murray Smith in the carrot battery with sodium chloride, which is obviously much more easy to get and uh, more benign for my students. And it does look like the sodium chloride works fine in being a microwave susceptor that concentrates the heat right where you want it. Um, so I'm going to continue on and experiment in this way. This seems to be a promising uh, possibility of a very fast and easy way to do carbonization of various materials. Uh, I started with sugar, but I have a lot of different materials I want to try. And if I can do it with uh, drying the materials, grinding them up into a powder, and uh, adding some uh, salt to them, putting in the microwave, and cooking for four minutes, I mean, that's an incredibly fast and easy way to carbonize materials. So I'm excited about this. I think it might really work 
were the day camp and for others. And I will keep you posted on my results. Thank you very much.